Welcome to Canon's Lab. Today we're going to talk about chemical reactions. A chemical reaction is when you have a substance and you transform that substance into something totally different. Chemical reactions happen every day around you. The very first one is our respiration. We inhale oxygen and it reacts with the glucose that is in our body from the food that we ate. That glucose has carbon in there, it reacts with it, and then it produces CO2 or carbon dioxide. So that's what we exhale. So we inhale O2 and then we exhale CO2, carbon dioxide. That's a chemical reaction. There's some other chemical reactions when we cook. There's some other chemical reactions in photosynthesis. There are chemical reactions all around you. In the case of a physical reaction, for example, water. When you have water at room temperature, you have H2O. If you cool it down, it's going to become ice, but it's still H2O. If you heat it up, it's going to become vapor, water vapor, but it's still H2O. You can go back and forth between different states of matter, but it's still going to be H2O. There is no chemical change. It's only a physical change. Let's do an experiment where we can cause a chemical reaction. We're going to combine hydrogen peroxide. This is a concentrated hydrogen peroxide, and we're going to combine it with potassium iodide. Water is H2O, two atoms of hydrogen, one atom of oxygen. If we add another atom of oxygen, that will become hydrogen peroxide. It's a totally different substance. You can drink water. Well, it's not only that you can drink it, you need it to live. But if you drink hydrogen peroxide, you die. It's a poison. And the difference is only one atom of oxygen, H2O and H2O2. That extra atom of oxygen makes it a completely different substance. Our chemical reaction is called the elephant toothpaste, and we're ready. We have all safety measures. The Lego men are protected with chills. We have an ambulance. And we also have a helicopter. We're ready to start. So first, we're gonna pour some hydrogen peroxide into this graduated cylinder. We add very little only 50 milliliters. We're gonna add a little bit of soap just to make the reaction a little bit more visible. The oxygen can be trapped into the soap bubbles. We're gonna add also a little bit of color just to mimic the toothpaste that you and I use. Usually you have red and blue. Now we're gonna add a solution of potassium iodide. This means we have some potassium iodide in solid and we dissolve it with water. And watch what happens. We had very little liquid, and now we have a lot of this substance, a lot of this foam. We have enough for many, many, many elephants. We're back now. Did you like the chemical reaction? Let me tell you what happened. We had the hydrogen peroxide which is the H2O2, we added the iodide. The iodide helped to catalyze this reaction. So this is basically what we had at the end. The hydrogen peroxide resulted in water, oxygen, and heat. The oxygen was trapped into the sub-bubbles and it allowed it to form even more. What other applications can you think of? Have you thought about how is that airbags work? The airbags have a chemical that in the case of an impact, the sensor sends a signal, it ignites that chemical, and it produces nitrogen, or it liberates nitrogen from the molecule of that chemical, and it inflates the bag. What other chemical reactions can you think of that could actually result in an application that could benefit society? Let me know. I'm pretty sure you have tons of ideas. See you next time.